Hello, my beer-loving friends. You know what time it is. It's just past three, although I think my clock is slightly fast. It, it could be two hours fast. <laughs> it wouldn't matter because it's always beer o'clock, right? And today, well, let me first just like just say thank you to all the beer fund donations I've been getting in. Look, um, I am getting around to all these beers. Actually, I'll show you some of the lineup that I'm going to be doing. And I mean, there's Vander ja uh, Vander James out there. There's uh, there's Ricky. I still got his to do. Uh, there's Phil Simpson. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you, mate. Uh, e and L, mate. I'm gonna have to try something else. And uh, well, Barton, Barton, thank you for becoming a Patreon. And well, let me just show you some of the beers I've got lined up. Now, I've had a big. The 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 Belgians love their beer. I found this one, and I figured that might uh, settle some of those Belgians down. You know, so I've got that one. That one's still warm, so I'm not drinking that one today. Uh, I've got this one, the Royal Dutch Can. I'll tell you what, I've already had one of those and, well, very surprising. I've got the Burley Mid-Tide here. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten, mate. I write these things down. I've got a Four Pines. Actually, uh, one of the, my bandmates gave me this one. He said, mate, you got to try this one. It's my new favourite. So I thought, right, yeah. And, well, I mean, this is just one of them. Another one, a nice British beer, you know. <laughs> that I give this one a crack. It, it's in a big bottle and <laughs> it looks all right. <laughs> Special London Ale, Young's. Whew. But today, today's beer, well, this this one here, I mean, Elias, Elias. Elias, Ver, oh, God. What are the, why do the... The Belgians always have names impossible to pronounce. And plus I can't even read my own writing. Elias Verheiden. That's what I'm guessing. Is that the right pronunciation, Elias Verheiden? Um, well, I mean, there was a few beers that he sort of wanted me to try. And, well, I looked online and most of them are uh, out of stock. But... I did find this one, and Elias, I hope you're fine with this one. It's a Leffe Blonde. In fact, you know, you, you'll probably get two of them. But anyway, the Leffe Blonde. Now, this one here is a Belgian beer. It's 6.6% .6 too, so it's not it's not for the light-hearted, this one. I'm guessing this is more like a, a sipping beer. I, I doubt very much it's going to be a session ale. Unless you're that way inclined, which I can tend to be, which is why I drink mid strings. But uh, this one, well, it's all written in whatever language that is. <laughs> it doesn't even want to focus because it knows that only the the special people can read that, and I'm not one of them. I did German in um, high school, though. Das ist meine Kugelschreiber, is about all I can remember. But uh, we're going to give this one a go today. And I'm pretty sure it's from Belgium. Yep, yep, yep. It's even got a written on the label there. Made in Belgium. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. God, what a waste of money this camera was. Oh, should have just bought the phone. Well, I've had this one for a while anyway. But anyway, are we going to try that Leffe Blonde today? And oh, just before I get into this, now there was some more Belgian beer which I found at Dan's, which really might interest you. Uh, I had it on my picks here. Yeah. Now I saw this, and it's called uh, Holtland. So it's called Holtland, and well, it's made in Belgium. And the beautiful thing about this, it came in a big carton, right? But the thing about this beer, it's four point something percent, and it's only thirty two ninety. Get rid of that. Thirty two ninety nine for a, a whole carton of twenty four. Mate, that's one of the cheapest beers going around. A whole carton of Holtland for thirty two bucks. So I reckon that could be on the cards. But what I wanted to ask is if 
any of you have had it before and is it any good because I don't want 24 more blueies in my fridge you know what I'm saying but I'm guessing if that's a Belgian beer it's going to be all right so let's just get started let's get stuck into this mate because I'm fanging for a leffy now this I looked on this uh, the app thing and there's a story about that long about the Laffy, but I ain't got time for that. Do you know why? Because that's what time it is up there. It's not reading story time. It's cracking a Laffy time. <laughs> yeah, love the Laffy. Maybe. We don't know yet. But I'm sure I will. 6.6%, why wouldn't you? Alrighty, I love the bottle. Looks pretty good in there, especially with the sun shining through it, which you can't see. But anyway, that's a different story. Okay, that's well, a nice colour. Looks like beer. <laughs> it's a colour of beer. Well, it doesn't fill the uh, doesn't fill up the glass like that Tetley's did. Well, that was right to the top, wasn't it? <laughs> well, it looks alright. It's a nice colour. Mm -hmm. Here, let me just hold the bottle up. That could come in handy for a thumbnail later on. Yeah, do some faces. Oh, ow, yeah! <laughs> but, uh, hmm. Oh, yeah, that smells like a, it definitely smells like a European beer, that one. Oh, I'm getting notes of uh, oh, fruit. Uh, was it peaches? Like tinned peaches. That's what I'm getting. Oh, smells really nice, actually. Oh, yeah, that smells good. Wow, ho! Hoo wee! Hey! <laughs> Man, that's sweet. But that is tasty. Oh, wow. It's got these little fine bubbles coming up there, too. It's not like going berserk with it. It's more like a fine wine, like a, a sparkling ale. Sparkling ale. A sparkling champagne. We can't call it champagne though. Mm. Man, that is smooth. It's really sweet, but not overly, but it is sort of. But it's a nice sweet beer. It just really coats the inside of your mouth and oh yeah mm. sort of got that bite on the front of your tongue but that disappears really fast and then mate it just leaves a really nice taste in your mouth mm. wow that is um that is good up uh, now i don't know why it's called blonde i mean i thought blondes were a bit lighter than that but um I would have thought uh, maybe a redhead, <laughs> an auburn, a ginger. Ah, yes, this is nice. Mmm. Mmm, just the smell of it as you tip it up. Mmm. Yeah, just a real honey sort of taste. Sort of that honey, um... A bit banana in there as well. This is a really nice beer and I'm actually really enjoying this. I wouldn't say it's a session ale. This looks going to be another sipper. I think this is one I could drink faster than that. What's that one I had the other day? Have I still got it? This one. <laughs> this beer that lasted me four or five hours before I could finish it all. I think... This one is going to be a lot easier and faster to drink than this one. But in saying it, the thing with this one that I liked is I could only have one in like four hours. Mate, imagine how much money I could save then. Whew. Mate, that, that would actually save you money if you're, if you're like downing them really fast. <laughs> but we're not talking about you today, Trappy. We're talking about Leffy. We got the Leffies, we've got the Trappies. Hmm, sounds like you... Uh, uh, narco gangs, doesn't it, in the Belgium area? Hmm. 
Mm. Yep. It's like a real dessert beer, this one. And a nice easy sipper, easy on the tongue, easy down the throat. Is it easy on the on the pocket though? Yeah, I think it comes in packs of four and I think it was like 26 bucks or something for a four pack. Might have been less than that or 22. So it's not the cheapest, but you know, it's like everything. You pay for what you get. And well, what I'm getting here is a really nice sweet uh, honey banana style dessert beer that's uh, sweet on the tongue, easy to drink, it's not too hoppy and uh, if you're into these sorts of things mate, this would be a nice one to try if you just want a nice something uh, that mellows you out. It's a real mellow beer and with its 6.6% um, it's it's got that full depth and that full body as well. It's it's a really a top beer. This one I'm I'm very enjoying it. But I wonder what everyone else has to say about it. Now I would give this a um, I give this about a, a four uh, to a four point two five four point two five. I'm going on this one. I've made the call early. See what everyone else thinks. Okay. Uh, the um, Abbey de Leffy. Oh, that's the brewery, Abbey de Leffy. The Leffy Blondie. 6.6. 6. Um, well, uh, my friends say it's worth a 4. Hmm. Uh, everyone else thinks it's a 3.58. So, I mean, that's that sounds fair. Well, my friends reckon it's a 4. Who's my friend here? Oh, Danny Kirk. <laughs> G'day, Danny. So, well, where's all the other reviews? I can't even get to the other ones. Ah, but anyway, that's what it says there. Now, I reckon it's a, yeah, a 4.25 and yeah, worth a go if uh, this is the sort of thing that might interest you. Anyway, there's the Leffy. Wonder what beer I'll be having next. Hmm, who knows? I've got my selection there to choose from. In fact, I've got heaps more in the fridge as well for those days where, well, <laughs> I, get a, I get a break from the, the people that are actually sending uh, the beer fund donations. Oh, I've got a full stocked fridge there. Well, it's not fully stocked, but, uh, well, there's enough there to see me through. <laughs> Just in case uh, there's a nuclear holocaust or something. So... Anyway, that's it today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.